We're also gonna be adding active image stabilization to the FX3. Well, something tells me that yes, and a birdie made of spilled the beans today. Let me tell you about it. So welcome back to the channel guys, Castor right here. So today I was actually with Sony customer service trying to update from firmware one to firmware version three. Now, before firmware three, there was firmware version two. The reason why I never updated to version two is because when this camera was released before the Sony FX3, I was using this camera all day long, all day long for everything. So my workflow consisted of filming as much as I could, as stable as I could, I don't use gimbals, and then stabilizing my footage in post. And that sometimes will take me a full day just to stabilize footage when I have, you know, 300 and something clips. Yeah, pretty tedious. So when the Sony FX3 came out, I bought the camera and when I realized that the beautiful image stabilization that this camera has for handheld shooting, that was exactly what I was looking for. And I put this camera to rest for, you know, most of uh, running and gunning situations. But for running and gunning, you know, lighter setup and cameras that can do the stabilization for me was a huge time saving. So today I was on the phone with Sony customer service because I wanted an update and I had an issue with this update. And by the way, I tell you what happened in case it happens to you. So a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, I updated my Sony FX3 and I downloaded the firmware and now you can update via SD card. Now the name of the file for the FX3 is bodydata.dat, which is the same name as the firmware of the Sony FX6. So what happened is last night at 1.30 at night, I'm trying to download the firmware, you know, I'm trying to get all excited about using this camera, the attached to focus functionality, because I'm about to do something that this camera will be perfect for it. So I downloaded the file and my computer renamed it to body data parenthesis one dot DAT. So I put the parenthesis because there was another file that existed, but I actually sorted by date and took that firmware, put it in the SD card B slot. That's the only slot that actually is gonna recognize the firmware and I couldn't execute it. So finally the rep told me, oh, you have a one right there. It should be body data only. So my camera is now fully updated. So then I asked him, so basically the Sony FX6 is the same sensor and same processor as the FX3, correct? He's like, yes, absolutely correct. Same, same, same architecture, same sensor, same uh, processor. So I asked him, is it possible that we may see um, active image stabilization in this camera? And he laughed like, yes, it is possible. Like, yes, how do you know? That's what I got, right? The impression that I got. But then he backed out right away and said, oh no, um, listen, you know, that's a complete different department. Don't take my word for it. It's a possibility, but you know, I, I don't know anything about it. You know, I stopped right there and I, I thank him for the help. Then, I, you know, it got me thinking. So using the same sensor and same processor, there's nothing holding Sony from adding that feature to this camera. And perhaps, Sony may add that feature to this camera. I don't think that there is an immediate necessity for this camera to have something that this camera doesn't have already. And if there is one thing that I wanna have in this camera, that is going to be the active image stabilization because that is the one thing that actually make me the part for a lot of the situations, you know, from this camera to go shoot with a Sony FX3. The active image stabilization, huge time saver for me. So having that feature here, this will make this camera a complete different beast for me altogether. Being able to use the electronic built-in ND filter with the auto function has actually been game changer for me because with the FX3, for example, you know, I have to change lenses and then I have to change ND filters unless I wanna bring a map box and make the setup, you know, a lot bigger. So with this camera, it's just a breeze. Remove a lens, put another lens and let the ND filter take care of the situation by itself. So that is awesome. Also, you know, we have a bunch of buttons in here and uh, you know, you guys know this camera is really, really versatile. So another thing that I wanted to mention in case that you know, because I was actually looking for a solution that would allow me to remove the uh, top handle. And there is a connector under the top handle. And I think that the only thing that we need is someone to make a bracket with a connector to bypass a whole handle system. And then we can attach the uh, monitor here, or you can use your external monitor. But anyways, guys, you know, we may see potentially this year, who knows, active image stabilization coming to the Sony FX6, that is going to be a huge deal for us that own the camera already. It will make this camera, in my opinion, like a brand new camera, at least to myself, because it opens a huge horizon of possibilities for me, especially for those 
that are running and gunning with a quick turnaround. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want active image stabilization in this camera? Until then, guys, I will see you in the next video.